Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that in the opinion of this house. Thank you. Awareness and education about the importance of conservation for future generation and the benefit of ecological initiative such as planting trees and protecting air, water, and the land through the opportunities, including student volunteer hours and taking part in the province day of action on litter. Thank you. Mr. Canapathy has moved private members' notice of motion number 140. Pursuant to Standing Order 101, the member has 12 minutes for his presentation. Again, I recognize the member for Markham Thornhill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I am pleased to stand before the legislature to introduce a motion that would enable Ontario students to make a meaningful contribution to the protection of the environment. As a farmer's son, I was taught to respect and protect the environment. I have carried this lesson in my heart since the start of my public service when I was elected to Ward 7 Councillor for the City of Markham in 2006. As a councillor, I felt there was a lack of green open spaces for the public to enjoy in the southeast part of the Markham. Most households in the area were multiple generation, homes, Falkland studies failed to recognize the need for adequate green space for this family unique needs. I made it my mission to expand the green space for these families. As a result, the city of Markham developed many new parks and park aid in this area, creating an urban canopy for children, parents, and grandparents to enjoy and explore. I was also a supporter of the Adapt a Park program, which encourages civic engagement, environmental and social responsibility, and volunteerism among the citizens to build sustainable communities in Markham. I continue to support this great initiative today. I also used to organize a litter cleaning day for residents. Many families enjoy the participating and become a way for parents to teach their children important lesson about preserving the beautiful world around them. I'm proud to say litter cleanup day was a success. It kept our neighborhood and park clean and free of litter, teaching an important lesson about taking care of our planet. As a part of the community sustainability plan, I initiated the sustainable home and community garden in Ward 7, which taught families to plant their own home gardens. It was a huge success for Markham, providing the great way for the whole family to participate in wholesome activities, focus on learning about sustainable food growth, and be one with nature. A home garden provides more than just delicious food. It becomes a habitat for native species by creating the shelter and food for wildlife. Another initiative I am proud of from my councillor's day is Markham Textile and Clothing Reuse and Recycling Program. It is a game-changing example of the sustainable initiative that tackles both consumption and climate change that now permanent program began in 2015 with the textile recycling pilot program, making Markham as the first city to be banned residents from leaving textile at the curb. Mr. Speaker, the lesson my father taught me about the environment are very important to me. In a way, it is a part of the legacy he left behind. Climate change and environmental pollution pose serious challenges around the world. Our ability to reduce greenhouse gas emission, driving climate change, around protecting the environment will go a long way toward defining the legacy we leave for our children and future generation. It's required a collective effort. Every one of us has a role to play. The motion would dedicate Ontario secondary school students on the importance of conservation for future generation and the benefit of ecological initiative through a series of activities such as tree planting and participating in the provincial Day of Action on Litter. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, our government is committed to protecting and conserving our environmental through our Made in Ontario Environment Plan, which is a blueprint for our action to protect air, water, and land, reduce litter and waste while lowering greenhouse gas emission, helping communities prepare for climate change. This ever-evolving plan commit Ontario to address the pressing challenges of extreme weather event, heat waves, and keep clean lands and waterways free of litter. 
and we are already on our way to meeting that target. Approximately 94% of the electricity generated in Ontario was emission free in 2019. And the provincial total greenhouse gas emission have dropped by 22% since 2005. We are taking action to advance environmental protection with a combination of traditional standard-based approaches and the new innovation like hydrogen, fuel, and clean technology. Our government is also committed to protecting and expanding the green belt. The green belt consists of over 2 million acres of the land in the greater Golden Coastal area, including farmland, forest, wetland, and watershed, and the green belt provides resilience to extreme weather, even by protecting its natural system and features. The Made in Ontario Environment Plan also recognized the benefit of reducing litter and waste. Over the past 15 years, over 70 percent of our waste material has ended up in landfill. However, most of the waste material can be reused or recycled. For example, turning organic waste into natural gas. Reducing litter and waste will lower production costs on specific product and save space in landfill. The Made in Ontario Environment Plan also commit our government to, I quote, connect Sudan with recognized organizations that encourage environmental stewardship so they could earn volunteer hours by cleaning up parks, planting trees, and participating in other conservation initiatives. This day is all about stewardship, raising awareness, educating the public about the impact of litter and how they can help. We also want to teach the Sudan the importance of reducing, reusing, and recycling to decrease the amount of waste we produce. They will also learn that litter in the environment can impact air, water, soil, and wildlife. Madam Speaker, if faster today motion will help meet this commitment by encouraging secondary school students to participate in environmental protection actions such as the provincial day of action on litter. Litter takes years to break down. It's released as pollutant into the air, water, and soil, and can impact wildlife. This day is an excellent way to educate the student about the negative impact of litter on the environment, how they can help to make a difference in their community. Madam Speaker, protecting the environment is not just about reversing climate change. It is about helping define and promote the role of Sudan in the community by encouraging civic-minded action. It is about the value of environmental stewardship, and passing it on to the future generation. It is also emphasized the importance of youth taking responsibility for the environment by taking action. Madam Speaker, I urge all of our members to support the motion I'm introducing to give you young people a bigger role in protecting the environment and creating a safer, cleaner, and more sustainable planet. Thank you.